come to this place for magic. Any, any Nicole Kidman fans out there? No. We make movies better. <laughs>
all ovens are different, right? So you just kind of maybe want to check on these about halfway through just to see if the top is baking a little bit differently than the bottom. And that's generally a good rule of thumb for like all cookie baking. Oh yeah. They're very craggy on the top. They kind of look like they got shattered. They'll seem very soft. And that's for a reason. They're not underbaked at all. Like if you looked at the bottom, they're perfectly baked. I can't wait until these cool completely. I might not even be able to wait until they cool completely, but you know, I'll try my best. These cookies set up very quickly, they cooled very quickly. Um, I'm very thankful for that, I'm thankful for them, and I'm very excited to eat one. Oh yeah, and they smell amazing. The inside seems like really nice and pliable, but it's got this really nice crust on the outside. Let me just show you. It breaks open beautifully. Mmm, wow. They're just everything that I kind of want in a cookie. Shattery crunch of the outside with the sugar, but then the, the insides are like so soft. I think that this is the perfect cookie to enjoy with milk, whether it be from cow or almond or oat. A latte is espresso and steamed milk. So this is like truly a cookie that's meant to be eaten with milk of some sort. Oh yeah. It's actually phenomenal. I haven't had these with milk yet because, you know, I love myself. Make these cookies. I hope you enjoy them and share them with your family. Just get in the kitchen and bake something during the holidays. That's what it's all about, so. Oh my God, what is this? Are these other cookies? Oh my God, they look beautiful. I'm just gonna take this box home and watch like probably like Love Actually or something and cry along with Emma Thompson. Happy holidays.